Alright, probably the most abundant type in the whole friggin' world would be the water type. Alright, um, basically what they did here too is another type match thing where, like, they put the water types and ice types together. So, um, yeah, and then there's gonna be some that are weak against lightning and some that are weak against grass. I don't think any are weak against fire, which I guess makes sense because water is always good against fire. I don't know, whatever. But yeah, that's basically all that you really need to know. There's nothing really special about it, but, uh, so let's go right ahead. Alright, up first we have Seal, which, um, I personally like to endearingly refer to as Dopey Seal. Um, 60 HP for basic Pokemon is not bad, not bad at all. Um, Seal's a very basic card, it's very much like matchups, it's a little bit more bulky and a little bit weaker. Um, it does, uh, for one water energy, just headbutt for 10 damage. Um, and it evolves into one of probably the most powerful water Pokemon in the game at this point. Um, weakness to lightning is obvious, um, because of water type. Uh, retreat cost of one is pretty good, for, uh, especially for the 60 HP. Um, and I believe he is actually, he's either common or uncommon in, uh, this booster pack. Uh, he came from the base set in real life. Alright, up next is the Dopey Seal, Dugong. Um, 80 HP is decent for a stage 1, but the jump for just 20 HP between evolutions isn't really as great as it seems. Um, but it's got some crazy strong attacks. Aurora Beam is basically like, uh, Super Psy. So I guess you could say this Dugong is kind of like a better Kadabra, uh, for water types. Ice Beam is not really all that great. It's a little bit costly for just 30 damage, but you can, uh, potentially para hacks. So that's pretty good, I guess. Other than that, it's got a weakness of lightning, no resistance, and a terrible retreat cost of 3. So you're probably going to want to be using a lot of switches if you want to plan on using Dugong. But then again, I would probably use uh, Gyarados over Dugong anyway. Uh, but we'll get into that later. Um, also from the base set, Dugong never did it from, and it's also uncommon. Alright, up next is... I don't know. Not nearly... It's, it's basically like a weaker seal. It's Goldeen. Um, less HP, so it's got 20, uh, 40 HP. Um, and Horn Attack is the same exact attack, actually. Um, pretty much as Headbutts up their name. Um, though it doesn't have a retreat cost of anything, so I guess if you wanted to switch it out really quick, um, but I wouldn't recommend Goldeen or Seeking. Um, also, Goldeen was from the Jungle set originally, and is very common. Alright, so obviously, following Goldeen is going to be Seeking. Um, 70 HP is... I guess alright for a stage one, but there are a lot of basic Pokemon with 70 HP, so you know, it's not really all that much. Um, 10, uh, Horn Attack is literally the same exact attack it had as a Goldeen. And then Waterfall is pretty nice for 30 damage, it's, uh, straightforward, just Water Colorless Energy for 30 damage. Um, Retreat cost of 1, which I guess is as much as Seal and, uh, Lightning Weakness or whatever. Though, I would probably recommend Starmie over Seeking. Only because of the fact that Starmie has Paralysis Chance, but that's pretty much it. I don't know, Seeking isn't really used too much, just as a really, really basic water type if you want to use it. Alright, up next is pretty much the matchup of the water types. It's, uh, Staryu. For a little bit less HP, it's got 40 HP instead of 50 like matchup does. Um, it does Slap, which is essentially a low kick, uh, just water energy, 20 damage, uh, very straightforward. Um, Lightning Weakness, obviously, and then it's got the, um, Retreat Cost of 1. It's not really, it's a good starter. It's not really anything spectacular by any means, but it's not terrible either. It's not like Cold Eat. <sighs> What's there even to say about Magikarp? Magikarp's a piece of garbage, 30 HP, Tackle for Colorless, 10 damage, Flail. The most of, the most you'll ever do with Flail is 20 damage, because then you'll die. Um, weakness to lightning, and then retreat cost to one. I don't know. Moving on. Alright, whatever. Gyarados. Whatever. Moving on. Alright, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Gyarados. Gyarados is pretty crazy, actually. He's got 100 HP, which is pretty nice. It's pretty... That's almost the highest in the game. Um, Dragon Rage is pretty straightforward. It's just straightforward attack. 50 damage for 3 water energy, which is pretty good, actually. It's rel relatively cheap. Um, again, it's like Super Psy or Flamethrower without the discard. Uh, Bubble Beam, again, is a tiny bit costly, but it's not nearly as bad as Ice Beam. But um, I guess you could say that Dugong is the more versatile version of Gyarados, because uh, even though uh, Ice Beam does like 10 damage less or whatever, you can use a double colorless energy to power it up, whereas uh, Gyarados can only take water energy. 
Another interesting thing too about weakness uh, for Gyarados is it's grass instead of electric, which um, doesn't make any sense to me because I don't think he was weak to grass in the old games. He might have been, I don't remember. But um, he also has a resistance to fighting, which is pretty awesome. Um, again, against Hitmonchan and whatnot, it's going to be really helpful. Also though, as is the weakness with many good water types, they have a giant retreat cost of 3. So again, you're going to probably be using a lot of switches and whatnot. But other than that, Gyarados is an awesome card and very rare, obviously, he was in the base set. Um, also, another interesting fact about Gyarados, um, Gyarados even had a misprint too. Um, the way Gyarados was, uh, I think the image right now is the way it's supposed to look. It's supposed to have a black holographic background. There were misprints where the holograph, um, the color behind Gyarados was actually a lighter shade of blue. It almost matched the same color as um, him, actually, as the uh, Pokemon. Alright, and that's going to be it for the water type. Sorry, there's going to be a link in the bottom right hand corner once again for you to go back to the menu and choose a different type, or if you want to choose a different club member. Alright, but until next time guys, Bushy51, peace out.